Well, of course, uh, I said this severally, and uh, I mean every inch of it. Uh, this, our great party APC, uh, is rapidly growing in the southeast because of the achievements of the government, the incumbent government of APC, and the, also the promises and programs of the party. The party is now endeared into the hearts and minds of our people. For instance, in Imo State, you've been here for years, you've seen government come, you've seen government go. You will be able to say the difference between 2020 when I came and today, and then between 1999 and today. So it's no longer, there's not a board, a parameter for measurement. Check from 1999 to 2015, the developments of, uh, and achievements of government in a state by state, then the result is very obvious and clear. And you don't change a winning team. Whatever anybody may say today about insecurity, it's a global issue. Terrorism from 9-11 uh, incident in New York, in the United States, and the terrorist movements in uh, Iraq and Iran, the destruction of Libya, and the proliferation of small arms all over the world. Nigeria is not an exception. To a few days ago, I heard in Britain that people have gone on strike because of high cost of living. In France, there is also a protest. In Spain, there is a protest. These countries are not Nigeria. But in other words, Nigeria has even managed our own in a manner that at least there is still food security around. People are still doing their businesses. The economic space is still there for us to participate. So we cannot uh, sit down here, fold our hands, and to trivialize serious issues like governance. Leadership, we must, we have suffered a lot in the hands of trial and error leaders. We need experienced men and women with credible records, to not take charge of leadership. And that's the only way the youth population will be protected. That is the only way the youth population will be involved. That is the only way there will be partnership between all every strata of uh, the economy. So I think uh, in my honest uh, reasoning, and uh, having listened to opinion leaders in my state and indeed the Southeast, APC is on the right course. And for instance, you just had me talk, spoke in the hall, Second Niger Bridge, 368 billion. From 1979 to today, which federal government spent 368 billion in one project in the whole southeast? Nine years after the war, Alex Ekwemi became the vice president of this country. So the war is not even a factor because he couldn't have become without the support of other Nigerians. So what are we talking about? There are some mischief makers who are making the economy out of the current crisis in the southeast. We must identify them and remove them from the road so that Nigeria can travel light. Excellency, some will have uh, asked uh, why is uh, your employee counterpart not? No, they have a meeting because of the teaching hospital in uh, Abakleke. They are meeting with the president now in Abuja. Thank you. Prudent MST. Don't forget to subscribe and like our YouTube page and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you for listening and bye for now.